In this video, we're going to look at the concept of standard temperature and pressure. And what standard temperature and pressure is, is basically it's a, it's sort of a universal starting point where a lot of people, a lot of chemists came together and they agreed on a set of conditions where they could run reactions and they all knew that when they ran those reactions, they were running them at the same condition. So there was, it's kind of a, you can kind of think of it as a control experiment. So the standard temperature and pressure, for pressure, this is equal to one atmosphere. And the temperature is equal to zero degrees Celsius, or this is equal to 273.15 Kelvin, because you add uh, 273.15 to the temperature in degrees Celsius. So whenever we say at STP, you have to know that that means that the pressure is at one atmosphere and the temperature is at zero degrees Celsius. Now there's one other important thing that is, there's one other important thing that you have to think about with um, standard temperature and pressure. And that is, if we control the pressure and the temperature, we can actually create a relationship uh, between the volume and the number of moles at STP. And this, this kind of is going to make life a little bit easier because what we're going to do is we're going to calculate under a, at a pressure of one atmosphere and a temperature of 273.15 Kel Kelvin, if we have one mole, what will the volume be? In essence, what we're doing is, is we're creating a unit conversion that will allow us to convert between moles and volume, but only at this set, set of conditions. If it's at any other condition, we have to go through the full-blown PV equals NRT. Um, so let's, let's just do the calculation and see. So if we want to solve PV equals NRT at these temperatures and conditions, let's say that we want to know what is the volume of one mole at STP. So the pressure is going to be one atmosphere. The volume is going to be our question mark. We don't know. The number of moles is one mole. And the temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. So if we want to set up the volume, we do PV equals NRT. We divide both sides by P to get the P on the to get the V all by itself. So we get V is equal to NRT over P. We start plugging in one mole times 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And our temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. And our pressure is one atmosphere. If you calculate the volume, you're going to get a volume of 22.4. So what we can say is that at STP, one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. And you could use this as a unit conversion. So for example, if you wanted to figure out what is the volume of 2.5 moles, at STP, what you could do is you could take 2.5 moles and say for every one mole I have 22.4 liters and you would get 56 liters out of that calculation. Now this 22.4 only works at STP, but you can imagine on the exam if we wanted to give you a little quick question and we said, you know, calculate the number of, if you have 15 liters of a gas at STP, how many moles do you have? That just makes it a simple unit conversion. So that might speed you up on a quick question. So just keep this in mind that at STP, one mole is equal to 22.4 liters.